Hi, my name's and welcome to the back office teardown lab. Look at this. A Barclays sort of smart card type reader thing for the PC, I guess. I uh, have plugged it in. It doesn't really do anything. It just sits there looking gormless, saying enter a card and then doesn't do anything. It's a Jamalto, a Jamalto PC pin pad reader, apparently. And it's a part number HWP118085C, 5 volts, blah, 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 blah. So it's USB and it's got a weird proprietary connector on the USB. That's very interesting. We'll chuck that aside for now. What can we see inside? And I've got to really ought to start thinking about tidying up this desk. It's getting atrociously full of tools and screws and bits and pieces that frankly should just go into the bin. Take out these four screws. Um, yeah, I think it's for reading the actual chips on a chip card. I don't know if it's got a stripe reader or not. It doesn't seem to do anything. Um, some of these units come with various kinds of smart card that are used for setting modes and things. I did install the software and the driver for it. Windows seems happy enough, but it just doesn't do anything. Okay, so it's not prizing off. No feet there. No foot there. No foot there. And I'm pretty damn sure no foot there either. Any feet here. Sometimes if you've got foot behind the label, just sort of poke across. Look. There we go, secret foot, secret foot. Just poke your screwdriver across the label till you feel a divot, and if you do, stab it down. All your Christmases will come true. No, no. Is there more, is there more? Yeah, yeah. And it's really heavy. I think that's the first thing that strikes you. Oh is how heavy this is. Look, because there's this massive piece of plastic and there's nothing in the base, but listen to it. I'm going to open that up because it's going to have a huge wadge of something heavy in there. I'm going to Google this, aren't I, and go on eBay and see that they're worth like 50 quid and I just busted something up. Yep, you can just about see in there a big lump of metal. So this is the main gubbins. It looks very much like a SIM card reader. And you, because it is, obviously, you can see here, this is the contacts that detect that a card is inserted. So when a card's inserted, it's actually making a circuit. I can see it's a push to make switch. And that says to the reader, yes, there's a card inside. So it's not using the SIM contacts necessarily to detect electrically if there's a card inside it. It's just going to see that that switch is closed. That's fine. That's a good enough way of doing it. Not that I care that much. These things can be, this is this is kind of over the top looking and that's because really it's got the pin entry side. If it didn't have the pin entry side, this would be just a nasty piece of crap like you get, you know, as a sort of SD card reader. I can see an ST type chip on there. We'll have a read of that in a moment. I really don't think I'm going to put this back together, but I do like the fact there's a sort of four meg clock crystal on there. That those sometimes come in useful. I actually have repaired something by replacing the clock crystal on, I don't know, some sort of TV game or whatever it was. Mm. <laughs> right. So let's see if we can see what this is. This is an ST. It's a 7FS CR1. R4T1. Strange. SWP11316 E. Hmm. So if you're any way knowledgeable of those chips, you might be able to get a feel of what that is and what it does. Of course, it's a Barclays unit. Hmm. Are we hacking the bank? The police will be busting down my door soon enough. So there's the usual LCD type display, two line hexadecimal and a driver for it, a driver under a blob, which is quite nice. And then just a very simple keypad. So let's have a look at that USB again. So the USB quite cutely, that's, that's very cute. It's very cute how that actually connects to there. That is rather sensible and rather nice. Um, yeah, this is basically standard uh, chip reading affair stuff. And then just obviously some circuitry that's containing uh, the driver 
This is an Atm ATML, I think Atmel H002 chip. Hmm, interesting what that could be. Just looking at these traces, you've got your USB coming through. The two data lines are going to this ST chip. So this ST chip is doing all of the USB host control and everything else. What are these test points? Some test pins here. Test pins for the display, no doubt. So you'll be able to probably just fill some numbers on there. Anything else of interest? Crystal oscillator there. That's the clock. Four megahertz. A powerhouse here. You can do a lot with four megahertz, believe it or not. Uh, usual resistive contacts and that's about it you'll see something interesting here i'm going to grab the keypad because look look at these blobby colors here and if we turn it over that's how they've uh, injection mold the color into the over mold injection mold for the uh, key colors that is rather nice look it's a little bit like a sort of a hedgehog or perhaps a sex toy nah. so do i put it back together you know what i Friggin' drill. I, I feel bad, you know, it's clearly a working thing. It didn't need, doesn't need to die in my hands. And I, I kind of just rescued it from a, a bin, to be honest with you. It's being thrown out, an office move, but I, I, I don't know. Am I a hoarder? Do I have a problem? Because I tell you what, you will not believe the amount of stuff I have in my garage right now you might have guessed i must have done in the region of 500 of these videos now and uh, obviously i collect what i can to do the videos on and uh, yeah it does add up so maybe i do have a problem did you see that uh, tv show a life of grime and there was this character called mr trevis mr trevis and he was like collecting all these stuff he's like yeah i love it i love it give me it give me it, give me it. so loads of people are just going up to him and just sort of giving them hit their sort of rubbish basically because they knew this mad old man is going to just take it and uh they kind of uh you know he died i guess among a pile of crap but it'd have this sort of thing where the local council would just sort of just come around that's sort of the show basically the council would come around and just say look mate got to clear up this crap because you've got rats living in it um let's just uh, sort it out and he's like no no this is my precious things my precious 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 newspapers from 10 years ago um and uh, yeah it's a sad old tale really so i kind of um basically alluding to the fact that maybe i might have a bit of mr trevis in me um not in the way you're thinking and uh, I should just be very cathartic and just throw everything out and then just start again and you know apologize to my family and kids and wife for doing it and subjecting them to all of my junk um, but frankly I'm not going to do that because I don't care man I can do what I like so this is the last screw on here there's your card readery bit we just have the flappy paddle uh, thing here don't know if i'm run out of screws though i seem to be have an odd number are these are big ones or are these are small ones how we man that seems to fit anyway that's fine no 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 so I don't know if there's anything really that useful on a chip that you can read off when you put it in. I'm sure there's some initial sort of handshaking uh, goes on, you know, where it just says, hi, I'm a card and uh, yeah, it actually clips on. You don't even need to screw it on. Um, where it just says, yeah, I have a, ha, ha, hi, I'm a card. And uh, But what I understand, and you'll think this is bonkers because I think it when I read it, I thought, this doesn't sound right. And that's apparently some cards on the magnetic strip. The magnetic strip says whether or not the card's got a chip on it, which sounds minty, minty to me, because um, you could probably reprogram the magnetic strip to say, no, I don't have a chip on. And then the card reader will probably go, OK, uh, well, you're going to need to have a swipe of this and then get the customer to do a signature. So there's nothing stopping them nicking someone's card, downgrading the card's capability and then fooling the machine. Um, so you tell me if you work in the financial banking sector, is that what happens? I suspect it does, or at least it did while there was a 
crossover until everybody had cards with chips. But do you, do you see what I mean at home? You basically can defeat the security. Because I don't know what happens if your, your pin doesn't work. I mean, I think you can still sign or do you get a check guarantee card and all that rubbish again? So there you go, the Barclays card reader pin pad, did, 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 or correctly, the Gemalto PC pin pad reader. Very great. Did you ever use one of these? What's it used for? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you're that way inclined, please click like and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.